for you. So let's begin in a comfortable seated position. <clears throat> Just go ahead and close your eyes and begin to find presence this morning with yourself and your breath. Just letting it fill you up as you breathe in deeply. And then just feel your whole vessel of your body just empty out on your out breath. Settling into this natural wave-like motion of your breath, more so than trying to control the breath. Yielding into its flow. And then just to help us come into presence, calm the vrittis of the mind and to begin to reset our nervous system. If it's gotten um, a little overly stimulated this week, or if you've gotten thrown off in any moment, just wanna help to rebalance our nervous system, which is gonna be a focus of our practice this morning. So I'm gonna have you place one hand on your forehead, like you're feeling your forehead, like you have a temperature or something. And then with your other hand, you'll take two or three fingers and place them in the notch of your throat, just under your Adam's apple. There's a little hollow right there. I'm just continuing to breathe deeply and consciously as we now activate these neuroreflex points that begin to settle and calm our nervous system. Calm the mind. And holding here for a few more breaths until you begin to feel a shift. Matt Kahn says, when the nervous system is overstimulated, you are bound to feel unsafe in your body, unsupported by the world, lost, disconnected, unable to make wise, decisive choices, and without direction in your life. As the nervous system unwinds, your attention expands to dissolve self-doubt, to enhance your interest in listening, and to guide you toward the most inspired choices that are always in reach. Let's take three more deep breaths here, calming the nervous system of our body. Unwinding it. And then you can place your hands together now at your heart center in Anjali Mudra. So each finger presses into the other. The thumbs connect into your heart center. Let's take a moment here to just ask yourself, how am I feeling in this moment? Allowing your answer to rise up without wanting to change it or judge it, but just hold it in your heart. And then we're gonna move some sound now through our bodies, through the sound of OM this healing sound of love 
representing the beginning and the end, the alpha and the omega, it's the source of all. The sound of Om, we'll chant it three times together. Let's take a deep breath in together. Om. to balance any um, challenging emotions we might have felt this week or feeling now. And so the sounds that we're going to make, um, they're going to change and I'll guide you through them. The first sound that we're going to do is we're going to inhale through the nose and we're going to exhale the sound W-H-O, like you're blowing out a candle. We're going to do that three times. So inhale deeply, exhale W-H-O. Transforming any fear you're feeling in your body into courage with the sound, W-H-O. Let's do it one more time. Good. Now we're going to inhale and exhale the sound, S-H. Inhaling. You can go at your own pace. S-H. Continuing. Inhale. Exhale, exhale. Transforming anger into assertive action. Inhaling. Exhaling, exhale. One more time. Good. Now we're going to inhale and exhale the sound HA. <sighs> inhale. Exhale, H-A. Transforming anxiety into joy, inspiration, creativity. One more time. And now we're going to keep our mouth sealed on the exhale and activate ujjayi breath, where we tone the back of our throat. And we begin to hear our breath audibly in our ears. Let's do this for three more cycles of our breath. Transforming any worry into self-love and trust. Final sound, we'll inhale and we'll exhale the sound S. Inhaling deeply and exhaling. Three more times at your own pace, transforming grief into letting go and into acceptance. One more time. Return to your natural breath. And 
then when you're ready, you can slowly open your eyes. We're going to transition onto our feet slowly, and you can move any props off of your mat. And we're going to move into our wake up practice to balance and harmonize our immune system, our nervous system, and move any stuck energy in our meridians and our chakras, the whole subtle energy body. So we're gonna find our collarbones and we're gonna drop down an inch below right into the hollows here. And we're gonna begin to thump here. And while we do our practice, we're going to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth, just for the wake up <coughs> practice. Just to move out any excess stress, emotion, energy that needs to move out of our body so that it doesn't cause imbalance. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. One more time, inhale deeply. Exhale out the mouth. Good, now bring your hands to the center of your sternum bone at the center of your chest. Tapping here on your thymus gland a direct entry into your immune system. So continuing to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth, sending a message to your immune system to keep producing lots of T cells to fight off any foreign invaders. One more cycle of your breath, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Let's bring our hands now to our low side ribs, thumping here on our spleen meridian point. The spleen is the eternal nourisher of our body, assimilating not only our food and drink, but also all of our life experiences, our emotions and our thoughts. Another governor of our immune system. Let's take one more cycle of our breath, stimulating strength into our spleen. Good. Shake off your hands toward the ground. And then find your cheekbones directly under your pupils. And thump here on your um, stomach meridian points. Sending grounding energy down into your body into your legs, feet, grounding you to the earth. One more breath. Good. Relax your arms by your sides, close your eyes and observe what you're feeling here in silence. We continue to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth as we march in place, same hand to the same side thigh. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Then we're gonna pause, shake off our hands and cross over opposite hand to opposite thigh. Try to keep your gaze up and forward looking out. As we cross the energies of our body, opening up a program to heal and to reset. One more cycle of your breath. And slowly come to a pause. Place your hands right in front of your pubic bone and a couple inches out in front. So we're going to work in our org. Heal. We're going to seal in an affirmation into our field this morning. And the affirmation that I'm going to offer is I deeply love and completely accept myself. I deeply love and completely accept myself. So bring that into your mind as you inhale your hands up the center line of your body. 
Turn your hands out at your mouth. Exhale your arms up and right back down in front of your pelvis. Three more times at your own pace. Feeling in that affirmation into your subconscious mind, into your body, into your energy field. And we can get the underlying energy of our body aligned, shifted, and in balance. And everything else just trickles out into a harmonious body and life. One more time. Inhale, sweep up the center of the body. Exhale the arms out, back down. Now we're going to hook it all up. So place one finger in your navel, one finger at your third eye, right between your eyebrows. In, um, press in and pull up three cycles of your breath in through the nose out through the mouth, balancing your emotions and aligning you to your center. Good. And then release and just let your body shake out a little bit. We're gonna bring our hands now to the center of our forehead. We're going to do what's called the triple warmer smoothie. So the triple warmer is the governor of our nervous system, our immune system of the meridians of the body. So we're going to inhale and press out to our temples. Exhale the breath. Inhale, sweep behind the ears, down the sides of the neck, squeeze the tops of the shoulders, and then bring your hands one on top of each other over the center of your heart. So we're going to do that two more times, bringing the hands to the center of the forehead. Just breathe as you need to breathe, pulling your hands out to your temples, sweep behind your ears, down the sides of your neck, squeezing the tops of your shoulders, and then slide the hands down to your heart. One more time. Inhale, press out the temples, sweeping behind the ears, down the sides of your neck, Squeezing the tops of your shoulders and then bringing your hands one on top of each other over your heart. Now we're going to bring our pinky fingers right to the um, forehead hairline and then bringing our fingers to the center of the crown of the head. So we're going to inhale and pull our fingers out away from each other as we pull the muscles that surround our skull and release any tension we're holding in our head. So you're going to work your way down the back of your head, pulling apart just two to three inches from the center. And we're gonna go all the way down the back of the head to the neck, pulling the neck apart, Squeezing again the tops of the shoulders and then bringing our hands right back down to where we were thumping before. So we're going to come right in between each rib. There's these intercostal muscles and tissues and we're just going to press and pull apart. This is called the spinal flush. We're just giving our spine, our rib cage a release so we can breathe more freely. And then we're going to slide our thumbs to um, either one on either side of our spine and we're going to massage down our the muscles the erector spinae muscles here and if you find a sore spot press deeper and breathe and help to move out that congestion go slowly Going all the way down on either side of our spine, all the way to our tailbone. Then we're going to come right in the center of our butt cheeks and we're going to press and massage. And we're going to come up onto our backs and sweep down three times. Good, and then just shake it up. Ooh. Oh, that feels good. Mm -hmm. 
All right, let's bring um, our feet into mountain pose. We're going to inhale our arms up overhead. As we exhale, we're going to sweep our arms back and forth like a wide figure eight. We're gonna do that again. Inhale your arms up overhead. Exhale, weaving your arms. This is called the Celtic weave. Good, now we're gonna to turn to the right and we're gonna do the same thing. Inhale, stretch the arms skyward. Exhaling the weaving all the way down. Over to the other side. Inhale, stretch the arms up. Exhale, weaving the arms. Back to center. Inhale, stretch your arms up. As you exhale, weave your arms, bend your knees, and come into a forward bend. Releasing the head and the spine and the arms. You can take a hold of your elbow tips to help release tension out of your spine and shoulder girdle. Good. Then we're going to place our hands over our big toes. As you inhale, you're going to sweep your hands to your inner ankles, up your inner shins, inner knees, inner thighs, up the sides of your body, past your armpits, go back down to your low side ribs and rub vigorously your spleen point. Good. You can shake off your hands. Now we're going to take our arms behind us and come into a hand clasp, letting the arms straighten away from the body, lifting through the heart. Shoulder blades melt in and down the back. Inhale deeply. Exhale, bend your knees. Bring your chest to your thighs and let your arms travel toward the top of your mat. Breathing space into any sticky spots in your shoulders. Good. And let your hands come to your low back. Stack them on top of each other and begin a massage in a circle one direction. Then you're going to let your spine lift up. Your weight is in the heels, chair pose. Flip your hands over your groin, so sliding the hands forward. Then you're going to sweep your hands up the center core of your body, straighten your legs, cup your hands over your mouth, exhale three times, out through the mouth. Place your hands over your heart. Good. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale, weave your arms back and forth, fold into this forward bend, releasing your head and spine, hips. You can gently shake your head yes and no and let go of any more tension in your holding. Then on your next inhale, place your hands on your shins and come up halfway. So your thigh bones move in and back and your spine is long. As you exhale, hinging at your waist, release your spine. Three more times with your breath. Inhale, lift and lengthen, thigh bones back. Exhale and release. We'll come back in a yogic breath, in through the nose and out through the nose, but anytime you feel like you have to move excess energy, just exhale through the mouth. Good, now with your hands on the mat or on your blocks, you'll step your right foot back into a straight leg lunge, so your front knee is stacked over your ankle. You can stay here in the straight leg lunge, or you can lower down to kneeling lunge. Your right hand is going to come onto the mat or a flat level block. 
and your left hand will slide to your hip. Take a nice gentle twist in your spine to the left so that your top shoulder clears and your inner thighs are hugging toward each other. The top arm is going to reach up toward the sky. If that doesn't feel good in your shoulder, hand stays on the hip. If your arm is up, we're gonna take these arm circles back. So inhaling your arms slowly back behind you. Come alongside the body, reaching forward, and then back up again. Just at your own pace, honoring your shoulders limitations, as well as its opportunities to open and grow. When your arm comes up toward the sky again, pause here. Flick each finger on your thumb. So pinky finger, ring, middle, pointer, all the fingers activating your meridians. Inhale deeply. Exhale, weave your arm back and forth as you lower it all the way back down to your block or mat. If your knee is down, slowly lift it up and step forward. Second side, left foot is going to take a big step back into a straight leg lunge. So the front knee is stacked over your ankle. Option to stay here or to lower the knee down to your mat. Left hand comes to the mat or a low block. Take a nice twist in your spine to the right. Hug your inner thighs toward each other to create stability. If your right shoulder is clear, reach up toward the sky. Breathe deeply into your belly. As you inhale, let your arms slowly lower back behind. Sweep alongside your body, reaching it forward like you're backstroking. Really letting your chest open to the right and the arm reaches up and back. Then when your arm reaches up toward the sky again, pause, flick each finger on your thumb and then all the fingers and then weave your arm back and forth all the way back down. This time we're going to place our right knee on the earth and come to all fours. Nice firm foundation in your hands so they're nice and wide and the balls of your hands take the weight. Putting a tone in your low belly. As you inhale, press the earth away, draw your tailbone under and round your spine, chin to chest, cat pose. As you exhale, let your spine release and lengthen, tailbone rising into cow pose. Continue to move at your own pace, arching the spine on your inhales and letting the spine hammock as you exhale. You can continue in this linear pattern of cat-cow pose or take your cat-cow side to side in a crescent moon shape. And then switching directions with your side to side. And then come to a pause, flip your toenails onto the mat and stretch your hips back and down into child's pose. Stack your hands on top of each other and flip your top hand over so your forehead is resting on your hands. And if you need a block under your hands to elevate your head more, you can grab that. But really let your head surrender into your hands and breathing full expansive breaths 
into your spine so your back lifts towards the sky. And on your next inhalation, slowly come up halfway and walk your arms over to the right diagonal. Reach your left hip back and down toward your left heel and stretch long through your spine, breathing space into your left rib cage and lung. All the way down into the side of your low back. And then walk your hands over to the left diagonal. Reach your right hand back and down toward your right heel. Three full fluid breaths. And then walk your arms straight out again. And then slowly come on up. And put a nice tone in your low belly again. So we're going to flow here in and out of all fours in child's pose. So if you want to walk your hands out a little bit further, you can. So when you inhale, your hips are going to release forward. Your shoulders come over your wrists. You'll exhale your hips back and down child's pose. Following your breath for four more cycles. Deep inhalation, long exhalation. Filling yourself up, emptying yourself out. That dance is what our nervous system really finds its harmony. You don't want to just lie around all the time like lazy lions, <laughs> but we want to also be contributing our gifts, our heart, but we can also be doing that all the time either. We get burned out and out of balance. So we're always in this dance, filling up, breathing in so we can then exhale and give away. So the next time you're in child's pose, let's pause here. Stack our hands, turn the top hand over, rest the head. Surrender into this pose. And on your next inhale, slowly come on up. Set up again so that your knees are directly under your hips. Tuck your toes under or toenails press into the earth. Reach your right leg back and press your toes into the mat, getting that nice calf stretch. And then let your spine stay nice and long from crown to tail. Then tone your low belly and lift your leg just parallel to the floor. Left arm hugs in toward your left ear. Spinal balance pose. So you can stay right here or you can inhale length into your extremities and spine and then exhale and round your spine like a cat pose, elbow to opposite knee. Inhaling lengthening the spine, exhaling left elbow to right knee, going at your own pace, two more breaths. And then lowering down to all fours when you're ready. Second side now. Stretch your left leg back, press your toes into the earth and reach your heel back. Simultaneously send that length back up through the crown of your head. 
flushing our calves with fresh blood flow to send it back to our hearts. Then with a core, um, a strong core, lift your left leg up, flex your back foot, reach your right arm forward. Find your middle way of tone to your midline and then extension and expansion and softening in your tissues. You can do the flow in and out or stay here. Notice where you're over efforting or maybe where you need a little extra support. And when you're complete, come back down to all fours. Stretch your hips back toward your heels. We'll come into puppy pose. So you'll walk your hands out in front. <clears throat> come on to your fingertips. Dome the center of your hands. Head can stay in line with your arms or rest on your block or your mat. Pressing actively in the backs of your toes, stretching into the soles of your feet. And then slowly come on up. Walk your knees behind you. Step your left foot forward into a kneeling lunge so your front knee is stacked over your ankle and then draw your back knee off the mat and spin your back foot so that it's flat on the earth spinning it to the right and then your left forearm comes onto your thigh we're coming into side angle pose so your whole front torso is turned toward the long edge of your mat the right arm is going to reach up and then over your head, back foot firmly rooted. Now turn your palm up toward the sky. As you inhale, you're going to slowly reach from the center of your chest out your fingers as your arm travels behind you, <clears throat> excuse me, and then alongside the body in front. And then again, so think about holding a tray of glasses or pizzas for those of you in the room. <laughs> Not wanting to drop the tray. So just being really slow and kind to your shoulder, bringing it some lubrication. When your hand comes behind you again, pause here. Reach from the center of your chest out your pinky finger. Flick each finger on your thumb. All the fingers. Inhale. As you exhale, bring your arm out in front of you and make that weaving action again, a Celtic weave. Bring your hands to the earth and spin your back heel up. Step forward. Let's come into a forward bend, letting the head and spine hang, hands on the finger, hands on the elbow tip, releasing the spine. Then bring your hands to the mat or block. We'll step the left foot back into a straight leg lunge. Spin the back foot down and bring your right forearm to your thigh. Left hand on your hip. Turn your belly and chest toward the left. Reach your arm up overhead and then reaching over the head towards the top of the mat anchoring through your back foot. Spin your hand up. As you breathe, slowly bring your arm behind you. Parallel to the floor, then out in front. Two more times with your breath. When your hand comes behind again, pause here. Reach from the sternum, out your left pinky finger, opening your heart meridian. Then flick each finger on your thumb, all the fingers. 
Bring an arm forward, let it weave back and forth. Bring your hands back to the earth, spin your back heel up, step forward. Let your knees bend, release the spine. Place your hands on your big toes. As you inhale, sweep your hands to your inner ankles, up your inner shins, inner knees, inner thighs, up the sides of your body, past your armpits, back down, rubbing vigorously the spleen points on the sides of the low ribs. And then just shake it out. Okay, how are we doing? Okay. All right, so let's work in, um, we're gonna work in tree pose. We're actually gonna do a sequence of tree pose into warrior one, into warrior three, but we're gonna slow it down. And we're going to have a hand placement that's going to really help to rebalance the nervous system. So your left hand is going to come to the sides of the ribs or right over that spleen point. And then your left hand is going to rest here on your right elbow over your triple warmer. Remember that's our nervous system meridian. So we're going to begin balancing on our right leg. And we're going to open up our left hip, kickstand our foot. Remember with our balance poses, our gaze is out in front, fixed on something that ideally isn't moving. Unless we want to really work our balance. Then we're gonna slide our foot to our inner shin. So this might be where you are today in your tree pose. Otherwise, you can slide your foot to your inner shin without needing to grab and move your foot. You can go to your inner thigh. So just go where it's easeful. Then press your foot into your leg, leg into your foot reach up through your heart, and then soften your shoulders back. Good, then walk out your feet, and then release your arms. So we'll just take it pose by pose, and then we'll put it all together. So again, right hand on the left rib cage, left hand on your right elbow. This time we're gonna take a big step back with our right foot into a straight leg lunge. So around the balls of our toes, and then we're gonna turn our heel to the right and plant our foot. So we're now moving into warrior one, bringing the right hip around. You can always take your right foot wider to help the hips level up bending into the front knee, and then re-rooting back into your back foot. And I'm gonna make an adjustment. So we're gonna place our left hand now on the right rib, side of the ribs, and then the right hand on the left elbow, Take a hold of your right ribs and bring them around a little bit more, aligning your chest. Yeah, so the shoulders and the hip bones end up aligning. Good, and then just relax in the shoulders. One more cycle of your breath. Good, and you can spin your back heel up, step forward, shake out your arms, and then Place your right hand again on the left ribs, left hand on the right elbow. Step your left foot back into straight leg lunge. You can always use your blocks to make that transition, Jerry, if that's not useful for your arms to be here already. And then spin your back heel down so the toes are pointing toward the side of the mat and forward. And then use your right hand to grab a hold of that left rib cage and help bring it around to the right. And just relax in your form. On your next inhale, spin your back heel up, step forward. And relax your arms. Give your body a little shake out. <clears throat> so
So now we're going to come back into warrior one and transition into warrior three pose. So let's bring our left hand to the right ribs, right hand on the left elbow. Thank goodness we only have right and left. <laughs> so you'll step your right foot back, then step back into the lunge and then turn your right foot to the right to flatten it on the mat. Then bring your right ribs around to your left. Then we're going to shift our weight onto our left leg, catapult our right leg up as high. Maybe we're just toe tapping here, level one. Maybe your leg can come all the way up parallel to the earth. Both legs are straight, press into an imaginary wall behind you, and then reach long to the crown of your head. And let the front knee bend softly, bring the right foot back down to the earth, and then step forward. Mountain pose. Let's do the second side now. Right hand to the left ribs, left hand on the right elbow. Step your left foot back in its own lane, and spin your foot to the left so the foot is flat, warrior one. Use your right hand to bring your left ribs around toward the front so you can feel your left hip come forward a little bit more, aligning with your right hip. Breathe and settle here for a couple breaths. Now we're going to push off the back foot, come to the weight into our right leg. The back foot can tap and then lift. If you're more solid in your balance, let the leg lift just parallel to the earth. Both legs are straight, spine extending. And slowly bend the front knee, bring your foot back to the earth and then step forward and come into mountain pose. Okay, so we're gonna put that all together now, starting in mountain pose and going into tree pose. So we're gonna take our right hand to our left ribs, left hand to our right elbow. We're gonna balance our way into our right leg and open up our left leg. Sliding your foot to your inner ankle, or up to your inner shin or inner knee, or excuse me, inner thigh, not on the inner knee, hugging your leg and foot together, drawing earth energy up through your foot, through your leg, up through your spine, softening your shoulders back. Then we're gonna step our left foot back into a straight leg lunge, spin the back foot down to the left, warrior one pose, bringing your left ribs around to the right, squaring off your heart, your chest, and your hips. Shifting your weight now onto your right leg, lifting the back leg up, nice strong core. Spine is long from crown out through your left heel. Lower the back foot down, bend the front knee. Step forward into mountain pose. Let's settle for a moment here in stillness. Left hand will come to the right rib cage, right hand on your left elbow. Open your right hip, balancing now on our left leg, sliding the heel to the inner ankle or the foot to the inner shin or inner thigh, pressing the foot and leg together. 
Feel tone rise up through your legs, through your pubic bone, lifting up, navel up toward the spine and relaxing your shoulders. Taking your big step back with your right leg so the foot's in its own lane. Spin your right heel down to the right and now bring your right ribs around to the front of the mat. Warrior one. Shifting your weight into your front leg. Strong core, lifting the back leg up, flexing the back foot as you reach and extend long through the crown of your head. Gaze down on the earth. Middle way of tone, just softening. Slowly bend your front knee, right foot comes back to the earth. Step forward, release and pause here in silence and mountain pose. All right, good. Let's, um, we're gonna make our way onto our bellies now. So if you want extra padding under your pelvis, if you don't like it, Set that up. And go ahead and just come and lie all the way down on your belly. And then when you arrive there, you're going to stack your hands on top of each other. Top hand flips over, forehead resting. And now rock your hips side to side. Releasing tension from your body calming your nervous system. And then come and pause in silence. And lift your head and slide your hands under your shoulders so the hands are spread wide and your elbows are straight back. Lift one leg at a time up and out of your hips so the legs are straight and the legs are straight behind your hips and your toenails are pressed into the earth. As you inhale, tone your legs, lift your low belly, claw the mat toward you and let your spine, head and neck lift off the mat into a little cobra. The back body is toned, the spine is long that emerges out of your hips and the breath is moving into your back body. On your next exhale, lower your heart, rest your head on your hands, and rock your hips side to side. And then come to a pause. And your right arm is going to reach out in front of you, hand on the mat. And your forehead is going to rest again your, against your left hand. As you inhale, your left leg is going to lift, your right arm is going to lift, and your head is going to lift with your hand on your forehead. Three breaths here, breathing into the back body. As you exhale, lower down, stack both hands again, rock the hips side to side. 
and then pause in stillness. Second side, left arm's going to reach out, forehead resting on either side of the hand. Right leg's going to lift, left arm's going to lift, and then the spine and head is lifting. Three full breaths here. As you exhale, lower down, stack your hands, rock your hips side to side. And then relax here. When you're ready, you're going to slowly press yourself back up. And we're going if you want to take a little puppy pose or child's pose to stretch your low back, feel free to. Then we're going to align ourselves onto our mats now onto our backs. So if you want a little head and neck support, you can put that at one end of the mat. And then if you have a block or a bolster or a pillow or another folded blanket, you're just going to have that nearby you. And then go ahead and line your back. Draw your knees into your chest. Place your hands on your kneecaps. Separate your knees apart and circle your knees out together, back and toward your chest, following your breath. And then switch directions. Good. Draw your knees back into your chest. Take a little squeeze here into your low back. And then place one foot at a time on the ground. Walk your feet in hip distance apart and in toward your buttocks so the knees are aligned over your ankles. And we're going to move in flying bridge pose with our breath. So our inhale is going to lift our hips up and send our arms over our head and rest on or near the floor. Back body lights up. Our exhale will slowly lower our spine, arms, and hips back to the mat. And again, you're following your breath. Hips rising up, arms overhead, bridge pose, toned back body, soft front body. Exhaling, releasing back to the earth. The next time your hips are lifted in the bridge pose, stay here in the pose, but bring your arms back to your sides. Ground through the backs of your shoulders and your feet, toning your back, glutes, and hamstrings, but let your glutes soften a little bit so the hamstrings and back are having to work more. Three more full breaths. Strong spine, soft, fleshy front body, open, wild heart. On your exhale, slowly lower your spine and your hips back to the earth. Walk your feet to the wide edges of your mat. Arms can anchor out to your sides or up overhead again. Flex your feet, inhale deeply. 
Exhale your knees to the right, windshield wiper stretch. Inhale your knees back up to center. Exhale them to the other side. And then letting go in those sticky areas of your outer hip, thighs, low back. And you can follow your breath to each side, spending it however long you would like on a side. When your knees come to the right side again, pause here. If your arms are stretched overhead, take a hold of your left wrist and gently stretch your arm away from your left hip bone. Option to bring your right heel onto your left thigh to add more weight to open the tissue of your left side body. And release your wrist and your foot back to the mat. Float your knees up. Exhale the knees to your left. Take a hold of your right wrist. Stretch it away from your right hip. Option to bring your left heel onto your right thigh. Release your wrist and your foot. Float your knees back up. Bring your arms to your sides and walk your feet in hip distance apart. Find your prop that you're using. So if you have a block, you can do the flat level height or you can bring it up to the second level height if you know you're more open in your front of your hips. <clears throat> Otherwise, use your bolster. So just setting it right in the back of your sacrum, so the bottom edge of your prop comes to where your buttock splits into two halves. We're going to bring our knees above our hips and stretch our legs up in supported shoulder stand. Now one caveat is if you are menstruating, you're going to omit your prop under your hips, but you can still let your legs stretch up toward the sky. Just letting your jaw relax and all the muscles of your face, allowing yourself to receive the blood and the lymph fluids from your legs as they move into all the hormone centers of your body, nourishing them with your own blood and oxygen. Enjoy three full nourishing deep breaths. Mm -hmm. 
slowly draw your knees into your chest. Place one foot at a time onto the mat. Lift your hips up and remove your prop to the side. Lower the hips back down. Bring the soles of your feet together and let your knees come apart in reclined cobbler pose or bound angle. Heels pressing together, tone in the outer legs and a nice length in your inner legs. If you need a prop under one or both thighs to elevate your knees, you can do that. We're gonna spend a few minutes here. Join three more full, steady breaths. Place your hands on the outside of your thighs. Help your legs come together. Stretch one leg at a time. You go right into Shavasana, letting your body just totally fill up your mat, splaying out in all directions. If you'd like some extra support in just staying present in Shavasana, you can bring your left hand again into your forehead. Two or three fingers come into the notch of your throat under your Adam's apple. You can hold here as long as it's feeling comforting and calming to you.
Shanti. Shanti. breaths to deepen. Initiating small movements from your center. Moving out into the peripheral of your body as you slowly begin to reawaken. Eventually, you'll roll to your side in fetal position, softening your whole front body toward the ground. Allowing your head to come up last as you slowly press yourself back up into a comfortable seated position. Uniting your hands together at your heart center in Anjali Mudra. Take a moment to ask yourself, how am I feeling now? And then feeling into the gratitude from your practice, your body, all the blessings and the love and the support that are present in your life, as well as the challenges that are causing you to grow and to trust that all is for your highest good. Let's send this gratitude out into our world with the sound of one own to close our practice. Taking a deep breath in together. Um. Blessings to each of you. Namaste. for being here this morning. Thank you. You're so welcome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.